What's up guys, this is Mac with NBC Diesel. I just wanted to talk to you guys today about our different wheel options. And we've got our cast wheel over here. We've got our standard billet wheel right here. We've got our SXER, our competition series wheel. This is gonna be our top of the line wheel right here. Now these are all in S467 sizes. So this is gonna be a 67.7, um, that's also a 67.7. This is also a 67.7 so we can Keep across the board to show the difference. Um, we do offer these in pretty much every size. The cast wheels come in 62 all the way up to S480, so S362 all the way up to S480. Um, we offer the standard billet, same sizes basically, all the way up to S480 from 362, um, or actually up to 88 on these. On these ones, we have only a few sizes right now. We're actually working on making the rest of the sizes, but we have 63 millimeter for an S363, 67.7 uh, for the S467s. Um, up to 88 millimeters. We have a 78 millimeter and an 88 millimeter. We're going to fill in all the gaps basically eventually. Um, we haven't gotten that far yet, so that's something we are working on. Let's go across and just start with the cast wheel. This cast wheel setup, um, this is basically a mold that is made, and you pour molten aluminum down in the mold, and out comes the shape of a wheel. You then uh, mill off the edges right here, and you machine off the backside and make it smooth and pretty, and uh, it's pretty much ready to go. You balance it, obviously, that's what the balancing mark's for. Um, this wheel is great to manufacture as far as cost. Um, it is very, very inexpensive to manufacture. We can make, you know, hundreds of these at a time. They're very, very um, quick to make, very cheap, um, not necessarily bad. Um, due to limitations in castings, cast material by nature is, of course, going to be a little bit weaker than billet, um, or forged material, I should say. It uh, basically comes out to a, a, a thicker hub, a thicker blade, um, just an overall thicker design just to keep up with the strength demands that these require. So um, overall a good performing wheel, um, works great for a lot of people, not um, exactly the best option out there as far as performance, but it is plenty reliable. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not gonna you know, explode on you or anything like that. There's uh, no longevity issues going with the cast wheel. The factory wheels and most turbochargers are cast as well. So there's definitely no downside to it as far as that. Um, now, to really explain the differences though, you have to take some measurements. So, um, let me take my mics here and you will measure the dimensions of that. Let's see if y'all can see that. So, what I'm getting here, that comes out to 20.47 millimeters. I, I can't seem to get that to focus. 20.55 if you... All right, so yeah, 20, 20, let's call it 20.4. Okay, so 20.4 millimeters is what this hub runs. We'll measure this blade right here, the length of it from here to the edge of the wheel. And let's see, that gets us down to 23.27. So take those measurements and you compare it over here with our billet wheel. Billet being a stronger material, we can make it thinner. Uh, we can make it, you know, obviously a better design. We can control the pitch angle a little better, it's overall a better option. This just takes us a little more time to make, obviously, because it's a forged block that we have to machine. Um, now, this does have an integrated nut, so you gotta factor this into the weight of it as well, but, um, so when you measure this, this comes out to 19.29, so let's say 19.3. So that saves you roughly 1.1 millimeters of space right on this edge, which equates to, um, what would we say that last measurement was, 23.9 millimeters roughly. So this comes out to, 24.8, so it saves you about half a millimeter per side, a millimeter per side basically, because you're getting that extra space right here in the center of the hub versus, you know, this one that's got a fatter hub, so you got more hub here than blade area. So then this one's gonna have more, obviously, blade area. It's also taller. Um, I could do the exact measurements for you. It's uh, over here, roughly 48 millimeters tall versus this wheel which comes out to 42 millimeters. So you got six millimeters of height on this. You can tell just holding them side by side in this that this one's a lot taller of a wheel. Um, now where it really comes down to it is weight savings. When you uh, fire this old junky scale up, let it zero out. This wheel, and mind you, this does not have a steel nut on it. It does come with a steel nut that has to thread onto the shaft because obviously this doesn't have the shaft um, or the nut integrated into the top of it. So that puts us at 
209 grams. Um, I'm not sure if y'all can see that on there, but it comes out to 209 grams. You put this one on there. So this one with the nut included is now four grams lighter. So not a whole lot lighter, but mind you, this is a bigger wheel. It's taller, it's got more surface area on the blades. Everything about it is a, a, a more robust wheel as far as dimensions. So um, overall, this is gonna move a lot more air and weighs less still. So that's a pretty small gain, but when you add in the, the weight of the steel um, nut that goes on the top of these cast wheels, it ends up saving you about, about 20 grams. So. Um, maybe 25 grams. So that does save you some. Uh, mind you, the lighter the wheel, the easier it is to spin up. So that's going to um, obviously make them spool a lot quicker. And obviously being, uh, you know, more surface area on the blades, it's gonna make it move a little bit more air. So quicker spool, higher flow. Um, they're also a little bit louder just because these are six blade designs instead of the seven blade design of the cast wheel. Um, now you move over to our competition series. Our competition series, so go back and measure that one. That standard billet is 205 grams. This one with the integrated nut still. 190 grams. So we saved another 15 grams on that setup. And now mind you, that's almost 35, 40 grams lighter than this setup, um, which is a pretty huge weight savings when you're talking, you know, spinning these things at hundreds of thousands of RPM. I mean, a, a compressor wheel can spin, you know, 130, 140,000 RPM on these things. So um, getting it to spool up quicker is gonna be pretty immense on this. Now this wheel, if you know anything about geometry, has a curve on it. This curve, has a couple purposes. One, you get more surface area along the edge of this blade because obviously a curve has more length to it than going just straight across, right? So that adds some more surface area across the length of the edge of the blade. This hub is also thinner. So we are at 16 millimeters on this one. This guy, I remember we were over here, at, I believe it was 19 millimeters, so 16 millimeters. He saved three millimeters there. So this has got a huge difference already on the hub alone. This hub is tiny compared to this one. Um, now you'd think maybe you're weakening the wheel by making it thinner, etc. You'd be correct if we were staying with this same straight blade, but um, if you know about architectural engineering and strength and all that stuff, you start to factor in shapes. So the shape of an arch is generally stronger than just a straight line. So the arch on that wheel actually adds strength to it. Um, so we can actually make this thinner, lighter, stronger just because of the shape of it as well. So um, this, this wheel is ballpoint milled, so it's milled basically by the point of a, a pin almost is what it looks like. It's a little tiny pin that makes these little tiny grooves. I don't know if you can see it on the camera there, but basically these little tiny grooves are just from the mill running all the way across it. So it can make really fine changes to it. And I don't know if you can see the compound curvature of this wheel, but it's got a whole wavy texture to it. Um, it moves a lot more air. We've actually run them side by side and we're seeing almost 20% gains with these as far as power. So um, versus the standard billet wheel, which is already seeing 10 to 15% gains over the cast wheel. So this wheel over here is gonna outperform this setup by a large margin. So competition series wheel, definitely worth the money if you're you know, looking for the best of the best that we offer. Standard billet wheel is a great option for the money. Um, definitely better than the cast wheel. The cast wheel though is gonna be obviously our most budget friendly option and it does still perform great. I mean, a S467 standard is you know, still a 750 horsepower so charger. So um, you're looking at, you know, really an awesome setup with any of them, but you know, our competition series is gonna be the best we offer and that's what you're, you're getting with your uh, extra money spent there, so.